Bitcoin having just weeks away now, how is Bitcoin going to interact with this vertical line here, the Bitcoin having, how is price going to interact with this huge event? I'm going to compare where Bitcoin is right now, previous cycles, kind of get a sense and maybe anticipate what we could look for. Also, we'll zoom in on the Bitcoin daily chart, look at shorter term price action. ADA, ADA on the BTC pair is a very interesting data piece that I want to break down for ADA charts and Cardano holders. And I also want to dig into the ADA, just shorter term price action, what to anticipate right now in terms of ADA and what it's doing. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into the video. This is crazy. Bitcoin, I can't believe Bitcoin having is here again. I mean, we're just weeks away. And before I even dive into the video, I have to, I have to do this. I'm sure there's new people watching. I know I say this all of the time. The move that is currently happening where, where you see Bitcoin, and this applies to all of crypto, crypto in general, the move that is happening, Bitcoin breaking this lower high Fibonacci retracement it's indicator, it's a bull market high to bear market low, right back into this resistance area. Bitcoin breaking that area prior to the halving has never happened. Every cycle before, it has happened after the halving, right? So that's last cycle. Here's the cycle before that happening after the halving. Here's the cycle before that, even all the way back in 2013, happening after the halving. I just have to, I have to say that as we start really speculating about price right now because bitcoin and crypto markets have truly spoiled everybody we should have months left of waiting and just wondering are we going to enter another bull cycle we, sh we should uh, typically if if the cycle is repeated we would have to still be waiting months for that moment but it's it's already happened where we're getting this really bullish confirmation i want to mention that now in terms of the bitcoin having here you can look at this horizontal line Give us a sense of where Bitcoin having is and Bitcoin just hovering just above the bull market doors there. I just want to go back and dissect before we start zooming in on the daily chart. How Bitcoin interacted with havings, because if you don't really get a sense or, or a visualization of how Bitcoin has interacted with havings previously. I'm sure a lot of people from a, just on the, at the surface of their mind, they're probably like, man, Bitcoin having so bullish. Bitcoin's going to pump. Let's go look. Let's, let's look at last cycle. This is what Bitcoin did. This is the Bitcoin having right around here. Bitcoin very sideways for quite some time, right? Obviously, we had a really nice pump out of the COVID uh, swing low. But going into that having, even the week before, you can see it's kind of like a, a red week. And then the weeks following, just kind of just in this range, right? There was nothing crazy happening. A lot of volatility there. You can see Bitcoin generally bouncing around from like just over 10,000 to around you know eighty six hundred dollars or so that's the range before it really got its breakout right really months after the bitcoin having and then again even after that breakout bitcoin still hadn't broken this bitcoin bull market door area until months later and that's something that's already happened this cycle around so that's that's last cycle pretty sideways right nothing crazy happening and then we go to the cycle before this bitcoin had another pump kind of previous to the having even though that pump happened prior to the having huge weekly candle prior to the having even in anticipation of the having and then a couple of weeks before the having anticipation was there still nothing crazy happening it almost looks like you know a little downward a little downward pressure and then what happened right after the having we fell we consolidated to the 20 week moving average really big dip and if you just look at the entire move from the swing high right before the having to swing low Bitcoin dipped like 40%, right? So just you, you take something like that. We already have two halvings now we've looked at. Last one kind of sideways, the one prior 40% dip. And we go all the way to the, to the Bitcoin halving right now. We're like, okay, it kind of makes sense how much is actually in play. It doesn't have to be up only season right now going into halving. We're weeks away. We'll talk about in the shorter term, the target to the upside, where maybe we make another move to the upside going into having, and then we start consolidating. But just to give you some context, we're already above these bull market doors. Bitcoin's ahead of itself from previous cycles. But if Bitcoin did what it did two cycles ago and dipped 40% going into having, I just want to chart it, not because I'm saying it's going to happen, but this could be an environment where Bitcoin could fall 40% from where it is right now over the coming weeks or even a couple of months. We could be at $42,000 and Bitcoin would be essentially doing something similar to what it did in a prior cycle. But not only that, Bitcoin would still be kind of ahead of itself, right? These bull market doors up here. 
putting that very simple data piece aside, that's not what we want to see happen because we do have in other indicators on the chart right now that we do need to evaluate. So consolidation could be incredibly normal going to having, but we want to watch the bull market doors itself because that's, that's a piece of support now for Bitcoin. The lower end of that area is around $48,000. And then we really want to watch a 20-week moving average. It's a key area. We do not want to see Bitcoin fall below. That is kind of the area two cycles ago Bitcoin retraced to going through the halving. So that's something that could be in play. But that 20-week moving average, currently around $50,000, is, is an important support area. So we go back, though. We can even go back to uh, the first Bitcoin halving, all the way back here, 2012. Check it out. Bitcoin halving 2012, you can see after Bitcoin uh, exploded after the halving. But even going into that halving, just nothing crazy, right? A little bit of upward momentum going into the halving. But even then, after the halving, just very sideways and consolidating. It seems like this general area right here, a few weeks into halving and then a few weeks after halving, it seems like there's not this crazy amount of hype, right? There's kind of a resetting type of moment for Bitcoin every cycle. So I think that's something that we could anticipate this, this cycle and be like, you know what, that's normal. It, again, doesn't have to be up only. We've been very spoiled thus far. It will be interesting to see if Bitcoin diverges from that pattern of kind of just chilling out, consolidating, pacing itself, and actually does keep going up right now. But it would be not surprising at all if Bitcoin consolidates. Bitcoin on the daily, I just want to mention this. This is a shorter term thing that I'm watching that we've been tracking on the channel, which is the lower high Fibonacci. Bitcoin, as I do the video, it's right in that range right now. Remember, we were discussing breaking through that 20-day moving average in green first, and then the real, the real challenge being this uh, Fibonacci range of resistance right there. And the, the biggest thing I'm, I'm watching is just a kind of a typical move, not even for Bitcoin, just for any crypto. And that is just kind of some type of lower high move, even if Bitcoin is breaking above a 20-day moving average, like back here in April, we discussed this before. You can see Bitcoin put in a resistance at the lower high Fibonacci, right? So that green channel there, Bitcoin testing the upper end of it a little bit, some wicks to the upside, but ultimately failing and falling uh, down, right? For some consolidation, it wasn't some massive crash. But that's where we are right now. As I do the video, Bitcoin testing the upper end of this channel. It's a daily candle, almost 11 hours left. This is exactly what I'll be watching in the short term. How Bitcoin interacts with this channel. Is there resistance? And Bitcoin is at the 786 right as I, right as I do this video. Is there going to be resistance? Is there going to be a struggle? How does the daily candle close here? Is there a wick of resistance at this level? That is what I'll be watching. Going back to that weekly real quick, just to mention it, $85,000 target still to the upside out of the rising wedge that Bitcoin broke out of all the way back here in February. So that's Bitcoin. Let's go over to ADA. ADA, I just want to say this right off the bat. ADA is in peak fear season right now. Peak fear season. And I don't remember exactly, but I imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, that right back here at this very similar area of last cycle, you see these, this red candle here, a couple red candles there. Bitcoin was basically breaking all-time high uh, in a really strong manner. I think this candle right here for ADA, and look how, look how far ADA was from all-time high, just sideways, consolidating, not breaking out. I imagine there was also peak fear at that moment as well. But you see what happens next. And I'm not sitting here saying that is, that is what is going to happen next this time around. But I am saying all these cryptos, they move in their own ways, right? And for Cardano, that has been the story. And we've said that time and time again over the years. So I just want to point that out. Peak, peak, peak fear season for ADA holders but I have to stick with the data. I have to ignore all the fear, the uncertainty, the doubt, the haters, because they're out there. There are outliers where there are other cryptos that are just killing it. And I get that. But I'm following the data, and I really want to see what ADA does as it relates to how ADA moves. So before we even talk about ADA on the USD pair, I want to talk about it on the BTC. Because we, we kind of just looked at this for Bitcoin. Here's the Bitcoin having coming up for Bitcoin what, on, plotted on the ADA chart. And then here it is back in the last cycle. Notice where ADA was 
at this moment last cycle. It was just bottoming out, you know, nice move to the upside and then falling all the way back down and then, you know, falling down again, going into Bitcoin having. Here we are again. Nice move to the upside, falling down. Man, eight is weak. Nothing's happening. What's going on? All before the Bitcoin having. One thing that I do, I do want to make note of that I thought was interesting that I saw recently was at Bitcoin having, Bit, or ADA actually started performing very well against ADA BTC pair. ADA started performing well, obviously, on the ADA USD pair. That's something that I'm going to be curious to see uh, this cycle around. What happens with ADA going into the having and after? And then the, th the same thing is true if we go to the USD chart. It's kind of like in the next couple of weeks or so, this is kind of a, a moment to see if ADA is going to really operate and how it's operated in cycles past or not. And, and so what I mean by that is, yeah, on the ADA BTC pair, we're weeks away from seeing if we get a similar move. And then on the, eight, on the ADA USD pair, we're also weeks away. You can even look at this uh, reversal zone for the Lux Algo indicator that's, that's just starting back here last cycle for ADA. ADA just seeing this resistance just below it at this very similar area. I say similar area because Bitcoin had just broken the bull market doors back then. Bitcoin's breaking all-time highs and, and really making a strong move right when ADA's doing nothing. And the same thing is happening now. Bull market doors broken, ADA kind of consolidating, not doing much, Bitcoin breaking all-time highs. But look at this, reversal zone just above where ADA is right now. If ADA makes this power move in the, in the weeks ahead, Bitcoin having coming up, this is, a, this is such a good area to watch for ADA just to interact with, maybe, meaning just gravitate into, maybe see some resistance. I think we've already had some kind of targets to the upside in the $1.20 range, putting aside this reversal zone area. Could be some consolidation at, in that area before the continuation to the upside, right? But right now, Bitcoin or ADA is operating in such a similar way than it, or compared to, last cycle, right? That's the first thing. A to BTC pair, we just looked at that. What could be in store for A to BTC? And then A to on the USD, this is kind of the, the shorter term chart where we can track the story now. And it is a, it's a little nerve wracking. And that is to say, if A to repeats itself last cycle, and I just want to say, I know that the reason I do this isn't to say, let's see what happens last time. It's going to happen this time. I realize that history does not always repeat itself. But the data, whether it's shorter term data, longer term data, cycles on Bitcoin, cycles on ADA, the data has been so consistent in really revealing how these cryptos move that it's worth paying attention to. If ADA repeats itself, we'll likely see ADA see support along this general area. Maybe a little bit of, if there's going to be downside in crypto, uh, maybe some fake breakout to the downside and then a pull back in and then ADA will start moving if ADA is going to repeat itself. That's the move, right? And right now you can see ADA interacting with this entire pattern. And not only that, we are, you know, interacting right now with the 20, the 50 day, ADA trying to see support just above the 50 day, resistance just above the, tw or below the 20 day. So from a short term perspective, there could be some volatility. And I say that because we see ADA fell below the 20, fell below the 50 back here, pulled back into the 20, about to break out, and then went lower, right? Similar thing happening here. Fell below the 20, fell below the 50, pulls back into the 20, and then are we actually going to go lower? There could be the fake breakout, right, in the coming weeks. It could look very bad. Things could get very depressing for ADA before they get better. There could be, we say fear is high now, it could get higher. In, in a situation like this. But again, I will have to stick to the data. And that is to say, what happens with this move? Is there a bounce, maybe a bounce above the 200 day moving average, and then a pullback to the pattern itself? Could it be a fake out? That's something I'll be monitoring in, in an area like that. If ADA is going to make a move though, and not start falling to the downside, it's the 20 day moving average I'm watching right now, around 68 cents or so. And then ultimately, it's just this entire range up here. 77 cents area of resistance for ADA upper trend line of this pattern in the 85 cent area. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm actually, even as I do the video, when we start zooming out on the story of ADA, I'm not sure like this week is the week for ADA breakout. But if it starts happening, 
it could be the get beginning of a multi a multi week breakout for ADA. But all the while, we have some structure to use to evaluate what's going on with Cardano charts. Um, but I'm just following the data when it comes to ADA, and when it comes to Bitcoin, I'm just following the data. I'm trying to ignore ignore the noise that's out there and just track these cycles because the cycles. I'll tell you what, they are rhyming. They're rhyming, right? So. We'll see what happens with the A to BTC pair. We'll see what happens with Bitcoin going into having Bitcoin right now looking pretty nice. Look at this on the daily chart. We'll track it. This is what I'm watching in the short term. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I appreciate all of you, your support out there. I hope you're having a good week. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.